Hello, my name is Joanna and I am a professional flutist. The clips in this video are taken from a bunch of flute practice streams that I do on the regular, which I'm actually gonna be bringing over to YouTube in the new year in 2023. This video covers more of the mental aspect of trying to progress on an instrument while going through prolonged stress. My own source of prolonged stress is actually my husband's recovery from topical steroid withdrawal. It's a lot to get into, so I'm not getting into it here, but I did make a whole video about it if you want to check it out. I made this video in the hopes of helping anyone out there who is going through something similar. To know that you're not alone, you deserve grace and understanding, and that it's okay to both regress and progress on your musical instrument of choice while you weather life's storms. I was talking with my students and it helped me figure out why I've been experiencing this need to like open myself up. And I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I wasn't sounding that great actually. I was sounding really squeezed and that was what, only two, three months into John's TSW. I knew then it was stress, but I kind of forgot. This whole situation has been going on for so long that I have kind of forgotten what it's like to not be under this amount of stress. And things are still stressful now because although Hubs is getting better, he's definitely getting better, it's still up and down. Your brain starts to be scared that it's gonna go really downhill and completely out of control. I think that I have gotten used to being under a lot of stress and therefore my muscles are used to closing up. And so training them to open up again is a very interesting experience. And I'm actually really glad that I, I'm having this experience because I mostly teach adult students. They have other jobs that they do full time and life can get stressful. I always have to remind them that their sound is essentially, it's like a litmus test for how you're actually feeling. and. I think I forgot that that is applicable to me too. Because if I'm being completely truthful with you guys, I feel like I have really stepped back in my skill level with my sound, with the openness of my sound. But now I realize it's not so much stepped backwards as much as I have to recognize how stressed I've been for the last more than one year. And that is going to show in how I play the flute. I mean, literally last week, I just had a breakdown. <laughs> the gist is that we want to find a shared doctor between me and Hubs. So we were like, what if we went back to where we took him last year in July of 2021 three times in a single month to this urgent care because they also have primary care at the same location. The weird blessing in disguise was that the primary care was completely full and they were not taking any new patients. We didn't really realize it was a blessing in disguise until after we came home and I burst into tears. All the memories of me taking John to that urgent care three times in a single month his skin getting worse every single time. None of the doctors knew what was happening to him. And we just kind of felt the world was imploding. And I felt like John was dying and we didn't know what was happening to him. All of those memories came back in a rush, overwhelmed me completely, and I broke down. When we came back and I cried about it and then we were talking about it after I was done crying, John was like, you know, I'm actually really glad that they're completely filled up because if they had space in there and I were to go in every year for my general physical, my blood pressure would spike every time I went in. Like what if they ended up putting me on blood pressure medication that I don't actually need? All of my results, my health results, not all, but a good chunk of them 
might be skewed heavily every year. <laughs> I just want to tell you guys that that is what happened. That it actually only kind of nicks into the top little bit of the iceberg of, I guess, my trauma. It's good to cry and it's good to get it out of your system. It's good to do those things, but it took me completely by surprise. It's still fresh. It's not surprising at all that I would need to work on relaxation, opening up, redoing my breathing. Like it's not a surprise that I have to do all those things right now because I've gotten so used to clamping everything down. I have to remind myself that life is still not normal yet. I've just gotten used to it being like this because it's been more than a year. It probably won't go back to a true normal until maybe around this time next year. We still have another year to go. I think it's very unfair to expect a constant linear upward trend. That's not how life works. Life is up and down. I'm still gonna do all the things that I'm still doing right now. I'm not changing what I'm working on, but I'm just changing my attitude towards it, which is, less of expectation and more of like grace. Grace to myself, understanding that I am going through a very stressful time. For a long time, I thought that I was done my embouchure change. There's no real done. It's just, have I arrived at something that works well for me at this moment in my life?